guys, it's Grace. So today I'm here with this beautiful doll. I have a whole explanation on how I got this doll and I meant to film it before but I just haven't. Pretty much I found her at an antique store. The lady gave her to me for $62 instead of like 100 so I got a good deal on her. I've customized her some. I know I should have filmed it. I did put some different color lipstick on her and it's just washable marker so I can take it off. I um, repainted her eyebrows and I gave her some freckles. I also gave her a birthmark there and I pierced her um, cartilage with a real earring. The way she looks now is really starting to grow on me. I think she's beautiful. But I already did order her a wig. It hasn't come yet but I think I'm gonna take this wig off and give her the other wig. I'm not gonna glue the other wig on because when I got this doll I had plans of having her keep the blonde wig but also have a colored wig. I'm gonna make her a girl that's into wigs so that I can change her from blonde to the new wig I bought because I just I really like her blonde. I think she has a really sweet expression. Pretty much let's just take this wig off. I've only done this once. I'm not a professional but um what I used last time was I just used some not um, 100% acetone. This, I believe, is 100% acetone, which probably is not recommended to use, but I don't have um, any other acetone, so I'm probably just going to use this. And pretty much you just take some, like, on a cloth, and then you dab it up above, and then use a fork to scrape off the wig. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I can't believe I actually um, scraped some of the nail polish off with the acetone. So I literally retouched my nail and I got this tiny Q-tip to dip the nail polish remover in so I wouldn't ruin my nails. I'm just, I'm that girl, I swear, it's, it's pretty bad. So I'm kind of scared at this point. Um, some of her hair is falling out. And I don't know why, but um, that's kind of upsetting. I don't know why her hair is falling out in chunks. That's odd. But it seems to have stopped somewhat. So I'm just going to try and be careful to not get any more to fall off because she's had some, some fallout. So we're going to try and not use any more nail polish remover and see if we can get it out. Wow, that was hard. Um, that was not as hard on Eli because he was old. She has the grandpa hairs left and some of my nail polish transferred onto her head. So I'm going to clean that up, trim the hairs. My nail is still surviving. So she survived. She looks good. We're going to clean her up. Here she is. She looks pretty good. Her wig is off and I'm going to brush out her old wig and put it back on her until the new wig comes and then we can put the new one on her you guys in florida it is really cold right now so i'm kind of dying <laughs> right now i put the wig back on my doll and she looks so cute um the wig still fits on her perfectly and she looks like a totally different doll now which is cool it's been two days since you guys last saw me um, my wig came actually yesterday, but I was busy, so I wasn't able to unbox it and look at it. Um, I had a concert and I had school, so today I'm done. I can finally take out this wig. I am so excited. I ordered it off of Etsy. It is from the shop Exquisite Doll Designs. I will definitely leave a link in the description or a card because their wigs are so pretty. I remember... I actually really loved this wig a few months ago. That was before 
I decided to customize her. Originally, I actually wanted to customize her. I decided not to. I named her Amber. I actually started filming and stuff. And I feel like you have to have a doll to understand this, but sometimes you just, you don't really bond. And I know that sounds weird, but you don't really like connect with the doll. You don't relate. So I definitely wasn't relating. So I decided to customize her and I definitely already feel like I like her more with the way her wig is now and stuff so and I thought it would be fun to customize a doll instead of have like a normal doll a lot of people have so yeah let's just take this wig out I've only seen this online and I thought it was really funny because uh, I saw this a few months ago and I loved it and it was still there so I'm like it's meant to be and I realized after I bought this one a lot of her wigs actually were gone so I guess it's doll wig buying season I'm not sure okay I'm gonna take it out of the box oh I see it it's so pretty okay, so here's the bag that is really cute packaging that's really cute I really like the way it's packaged oh, here's the wig oh I'm so excited here it is I know it's not gonna be focused but it is so pretty you guys can probably see that it is not just a normal hair color wig. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Look, it's in a little package. I'm so excited. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. I could just stare at this forever. Um, so the wig style I got is from Exquisite Doll Designs and it is in the color Sprinkled Cupcake. I did not know that it was called Sprinkled Cupcake, and now I'm more in love with it than I was before. <laughs> there is a hairnet here, which is really nice. I'm going to take that off. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow, this is so beautiful. <gasps> oh my, oh my god, it's so soft. Like, oh my god. The wig cap is really, really, really nice, too. It doesn't... I think it has... Okay, so there is um, elastic on the inside. It's a little different from Eli's because there's elastic on the inside. Eli's was a Velcro strip that you would take and tighten it so that it would stay on the head. This one does not have the Velcro. It just has elastic, which is perfect for me because... This should stay on her head really nicely. Alright, I have good battery now. So here's the wig. Um, I already like showed you, but it is so pretty. I'm obsessed. It is also heat safe, which means you can use a curling iron and stuff. I personally don't have a curling iron, so I'm not going to be using one of those. Now that I have a full battery on my camera, I can finally put this on my doll. I am so excited because this is like the prettiest thing ever. Okay, so here it is up close. As you can see, it's not just like a purple or a blue wig. It is, it's different colored. So we have the main colors that I see in here are blue right here, purple, there's a neon like green, and then if you look really close, there is a blondish white. So there is the wig. You guys, I'm going to play with this wig for days and not get bored of it. I'm going to be braiding it. You guys, I am going to be, like, having so much fun. Look at that. She is my beautiful new doll. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, um, like this video, and subscribe to my channel to see more videos with her. I'll see you guys later. Bye!